Well, it's a, a long story, but I'll make it short. Um, do you know that I, I speak some languages? But for many, many years, when I was starting at the age of 20, I wanted to study German. And I went to the Swiss German school in Milano. And as always, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then I couldn't go uh, the following week because I was traveling, so I was losing, missing lessons. And, and then stop. And then I also went to the Goethe Institute very, very famous, and the same problem. And then uh, one day I set up, as probably this story is known about, um, about me, I founded computers before Wall Street for four years at an IT training company. And there I discovered the methodology uh, of uh, centering the, 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 the teaching on the students and not on the student, not on the teacher. And, and then I created there in Computex what we call uh, a cycle. So practically, first you study on your own, and then you go to a lesson when you are already prepared. So, and then with the cycle, that the lesson with the teacher can be repeated, the same lesson, the same unit, several, several times in a week, and then you never miss a lesson. And, and this was Computex. And then after four years, when I, I say I close that experience, I, as I said, why I cannot apply this to a language training? And I started uh, teaching English this way. So what inspired me was, first, that when I went to Goethe Institute in German, <laughs> and uh, Goethe Institute and the Swiss school, I couldn't learn German because a uh, fixed time table of the lessons. And then also, I was with groups, even small groups, so I couldn't follow my pace. In computers, I resolved this, and then I applied to Wall Street. This is why, what inspired me to, to, uh, to create a company like Wall Street. And it was revolutionary at the time, because it was the first time that it was student-centered and not teacher-centered. Well, I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's simple to answer. Blended learning is a combination of a uh, uh, traditional uh, way of teaching and, uh, and, and, and technology. So traditional, I say traditional, even if our methodology is not traditional, that is uh, um, teacher, uh, self-study, and technology. And of course, um, 40 years ago, uh, we, we just had uh, uh, tapes, cassettes, but it was already technology. And, uh, of course, then we used double-deck uh, uh, tape cassette recorders, and this was the first blended technology. And then computers, and then uh, today uh, uh, iPhone, uh, iPad, uh, uh, online teaching, and so on. So blended is uh, uh, the combination of uh, uh, traditional teaching, traditional way, together with technology. Well, blended learning uh, is the combination of uh, the human element, the teacher, and uh, technology. And uh, I remember 40 years ago when, when I started Wall Street Institute, uh, uh, technology was just uh, cassettes. And we were using, for voice control, uh, we were using uh, a pronunciation control, we were using double-deck uh, recorders. And, and of course, uh, technology today is uh, more and more sophisticated. So I think uh, the combination of the two is, is uh, a very modern way of, of learning because it gives the student uh, more independence uh, and, and more freedom to start also on his own pace. As I was saying before, our method is student-centered. Let me give some, a couple of details why student-centered. In the traditional method of teaching, the student goes to the classroom and is learning from the teacher. So a new lesson. Here, the student, thanks to technology, is learning on, on his own, and what we can call, uh, using the, 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 the media that we have, a language lab, you can call as you like, and then he prepares in advance the lesson. Then he goes at his own pace, and then he goes to, to the, the, the classroom, and the teacher, the role of the teacher, is to consolidate what the student has already learned. 
That's why technology, when even when it's so sophisticated like, like today, is really helping the student to, to, to get the best benefit from technology and prepare very well the lesson in advance and then the teacher has also an easier uh, task to consolidate uh, what the student has already learned. Well, let me say something uh, maybe uh, with, with some pride considering the company. I would say that we are the original and the other one are copies. And I am not here to mention names or above all in China, but everybody knows that we, we have been copied since the beginning. But they never reached the quality of the original. So I think that we are the best because we are the original and we continue with innovation. This is what we have been doing all the time. Just a little example, uh, we even, even not only what Pearson is, is bringing now, which is, which is great things, but also we have the exclusivity for China, for instance, uh, 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 about Harvard uh, Mentor. Uh, so I think this is something, why, uh, why um, an institution so prestigious like, like Harvard gave us the exclusivity for China? because they think we are the best, and we are. I, I would repeat a bit what I said before. It's not just the best method for learning the language of globalization. I would say that it, it's always been important uh, to, to learn English, but today is, is really fundamental uh, with the globalized world. But we are not, they are not just learning English with us, they are getting experience about life. So it's, it's a way of life that they learn uh, in Wall Street. So this is what also what we give more than other institutions. I think we, we recruit our students with a mission in our mind, which is to have our students learn English as a key to their future. And here they don't learn just English. They learn how they see how uh, happier are people, how uh, the relationship are inside uh, Wall Street English. Was the, uh, and and uh, it's a way of life. So they learn also to be better human beings. And this is fundamental for their future. To, to learn English, because it's an, a, a technical key that is fundamental, but also how to be very good human beings. So this is the, what they learn, because uh, they see the example of our staff, how they care about students, uh, and, and, and the relationship between, between our staff and managers. So this is an example of life. So this, I think, this is what we give to our students. what I should tell people who are thinking to study in Wall Street. I think if they go, let me say something simple, if, if they go through our website, uh, they can understand uh, our philosophy, why we are really certainly the best choice for them. But I would give an advice. Why they don't visit one of our centers and then they can ask something unusual. They can ask uh, a receptionist or anyone there, can I talk to two or three students? This is my advice. Before making, I, I was always saying this in, in the past years uh, to students, to potential students, saying before making a decision where you enroll, even people coming first to see our school, I said, you know, before enrolling, are you sure? Because you can compare with other schools and I'm sure that you would come back. So maybe this is a, not a, a good message for sales consultant, but I'm so, I'm so, uh, I feel so confident about that we are really the best that I would give any kind of advice to students to give deeper into the knowledge of who we are and what is the meaning of learning English in Wall Street English. So can also interview some of our students and I'm sure they would get a fantastic answer. I don't think that if someone says, visiting our school, one of our schools says, can I stay for uh, half an hour at the English corner? I think would be welcome. 
and then for sure the student would enroll in mostly English.